Hello and welcome to RNB General and Local Settings tutorial. Here I will show you how the general and local settings work for the RNB. Uh, first, we need to go to the settings page of the WooCommerce, and as you can see, we have an RNB settings tab here. So we have to go here, and as you can see, we got general display label conditions validations and layout to extra tabs from here we can set up all our general settings for our products so and after that whatever product will be selected as the part of general settings these conditions and these layouts will be applicable like if you select the general tab uh, gen from the general tab we can select the uh, weekday names we can select the month names or we can give the month name um, then from the display we can we can select like if you want to show the pickup time on the display or not if you want to show the drop of time or not uh, those kind of things if you want to show the request for code button or not that you can decide here and then you got the labels tab uh, the labels will be whatever labels that you want to identify as your product label that you can give here you can select drop of location as the return location or whatever you want and then you got the conditions conditions are the pages uh, where you can set up your condition for a booking like uh, maximum booking days for it can be for a car uh, that will enable you to get hold of your cars so that a user cannot book a car for more than like 10 days or whatever you want you can make those conditions here then you got the validation page or validation step uh, here you can select whatever you want to be as the validation like if if you if you want to select the required person then whenever a customer will be booking a car he has to choose the required he has to choose the person uh, he has to specify the amount of person that they are booking the car for then you got the other extra settings so once we are done we go to our products and for here we are selecting one product like demo car here and from the settings of this page you can see it's automatically given as global settings like now if we select this as global so if we keep it as global settings then whatever settings we have done in our global uh, settings these settings will be applicable for this product or we can select local settings and then we can select the labels display and conditions accordingly and then we can update our system accordingly thank you